Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2019 from Budapest in Hungary, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio this morning by Mr. Edward Zhu, who is the Vice President for Global Public Affairs for Huawei. Mr. Zhu, welcome to the studio. Thank you very much. It's now, my pleasure. Now, I'd like to start off by asking you a little bit about uh, innovation, innovating together and connectivity that matters. It's the, the event theme. What makes connectivity meaningful and why is it so important? So we believe that by the 2025, there will be more than 100 billion connections all around the world, not only connecting the people, but also connecting everything. It's also the connectivity could be a basic human rights, so we cannot let anyone behind that. So um, also that's our vision to build a fully connected world, uh, intelligent world. So I do think this is a very important. Also, um, very importantly, the connectivity could be kind of a very basic corporate production materials, just like the electricity. Um, we cannot imagine there's no electricity for the production, so connectivity will be the same. Fantastic. Now, 5G uh, could be uh, the most important technological upgrade in the coming decades. What do you think are the key elements affecting the mass deployment of this? Uh, there's uh, three points. The first one is the radio spectrum, of course. For the mobile industry, the radio spectrum is very important. So how can we have um, the um, fully uh, radio, radio spectrum and continuously 100 meg and with a proper cost? The second one will be the site acquisition because of 5G that needs to have a more base stations, more sites. And the third one will be the use case, especially for the vertical industries. And what can regulators do to reduce the cost and accelerate this process? Well, I think there's uh, two parts. One is uh, still the spectrum parts, so to faster the radio spectrum allocation and also to lower down the cost for the radio spectrum. The second one is still the site acquisition, so it's mandatory to have these open serial infrastructure and share them with the operators. Um, that will have a much sooner and also much better and much cheaper uh, deployment for the operators. What do you see as the biggest impact of 5G and what examples of vertical industries could you give us? Well, the 5G is a great uh, technology upgrade. So China Mobile, they have a strategy called 5G Plus X, which can enable all the vertical industries. There's uh, two examples I can give here. One is the autonomous the driving. So we are partnering with um, uh, Audi to do this driving test here uh, uh, in Shanghai. So that's um, running very smoothly. And another example is the smart ports. The port is very important for the global um, trade. So we know there's uh, many, many ports in China and Europe. So currently the worker need to control the crane in a very dangerous position because that could be 100 meters high to do that. But with the 5G technologies in the future, they can just sit in the central control room, so remotely control the cranes. So by the 5G technologies, they can have a much better and a safer environment to work. So this is only two very small examples. There will be more and more use cases coming. Two very small but vital examples. That's, that's great. Thank you very much for sharing those with us. So how could regulators and government agencies collaborate uh, for 5G in vertical industries? Well, I think the first one is that regulators can have the promotion of the best practice and output the guidelines for the, op for the operator to build the network. The second is um, the vertical use case that need to have uh, many collaboration between different government agencies, because different uh, vertical industry, they need to have a different requirement. So it's better can have the government to have a good collaboration to work together to create the pilots, to let the vertical industry to adopt the 5G technologies. Now, finally, uh, you've uh, taken the time to be here. You've uh, obviously invested uh, uh, some, uh, some va valuable uh, time and money in, uh, in this event. What is the value for you of attending events such as ITU Telecom World? Well, it's a great event for us, and also that's a great value for us and also for the industry. 
I think the first is uh, um, so for the latest innovation. And then also that's the platform for the private and the public can have a very good dialogue. So this creates a very good environment for all of us, for the industry, to grow them. Well, you've got a great stand here. Uh, hopefully, it will be uh, full throughout the time here. But uh, uh, we would like to thank you very much for your presence here in the studio. And we look forward to catching up with you again sometime very soon. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers thank you. you. Cheers.